What up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Dimash, aka Bob Bright. I want to speak about an important issue, one of the biggest miracles, one of the biggest issues, fracas that ever happened in the history of Ghana music. I'm talking about the 2019 BJM fracas between Stoneboy and Shatta. That day, something nearly happened. I got the motivation, the inspiration to do this video because of Shatawale performing. You know, God is Alive at the University of Ghana campus. God is Alive is a praise song or a gospel song that Shatawale actually sang to praise his almighty Jah for saving his life on that very fateful night where Stoneboy uh, all of a sudden had to pull out that thing. You understand? <laughs> yeah, Stoneboy. Stoneboy is one of the baddest, the baddest dancehall musicians we have in Ghana. I had to argue with a friend of mine, he's called Nani, for over 30 minutes. Because I think I was defending Stoneboy saying that what Stoneboy did on the night, pulling that, 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 that gun, it was in self-defense because, because Stoneboy was giving dancehall, I mean, reggae dancehall artist of the year award. All of a sudden, we saw Natalie. Yeah, we saw, I mean, Adi Self, Captain, and Co. rushing on the stage. And then Shatter had to follow. You understand? Shatter tried to use those guys to shield himself. If shots were fired, I'm not sure Shatterwale was going to get killed that day. It was supposed to be the militants. You understand? <laughs> they were supposed to be the meat grinder. Yeah? They were going to be being shoved into the meat grinder. You understand? Stonewall got mad that night. And he was like, yo! Enough is enough. Let me finish this, 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 this. You understand? <laughs> this number one enemy. You understand? And I think before Stoneboy even pulled out that ten, I think uh, his manager Black City and Co. They started exchanging blows with the all rushing Shatawali team, and security had to come all over to separate them. As soon as Shatta realized, I don't want to show that show that video because of something. I understand. I don't. I want my, my page to be clean. I'm not promoting that thing. So, as soon as Shatta Wally realized that hey, Stone Boys mean serious business, and then he was holding a lethal weapon, one down, backed off. He had to restrain himself to run for his life. <laughs> and then I got I got I got myself thinking, saying like Stone Boy. You know, pulling out that thing, it was in self-defense though. But you know, if you look at the whole issue, uh, he could have, if he were to be in a different country, Stoneboy could have landed himself in prison behind bars for five years or more. I mean, go ask, I mean, American superstars like Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne was caught uh, illegally possessing a little weapon on his tour bus. They, they caught him, put him behind bars, you understand? He had to sleep there for, for I mean, I think a year or a year or more. But Stoneboy and Shatterwale issue, uh, it got resolved. Uh, later on, there were there were um, last lies being told here and there. That thing, it wasn't uh, a serious thing. It was a toy gun, which was a big lie, by the way. By 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 the way, let me also be honest because I've seen Shatterwale actually displaying this, those things on social media before. The time that Shatter they do real dance of, right? He go pick go the studio where he they record where he he they, he they shoot. <laughs> Understand? Just that. It was not, I mean, being something that was like used as a threat against an opponent. But Stoneboy had the right to defend himself. But the question is, you pulling out that thing is strictly illegal because Nani told me that Stoneboy pulling out that, that gun is similar to maybe, uh, let's say, Messi being a judge, a Ballon d'Or winner, and then Cristiano Ronaldo in disagreement will just pull out <laughs> a gun. You understand? Do, do, do you think this is what I'm, they are competitors? See, musicians are like sports athletes, you understand? They are giving your rival an award. He doesn't agree. He's rushing onto the stage to congratulate you. That is what Nani told me. And then that thing, I'm kind of skeptical because going to congratulate Stoneboy on the, on the on the stage, it was not, I think it was not the likely reason, you understand? But I think Nani told me he Ashata was going on stage in peace to congratulate Stoneboy, to share congratulations so that they will make uh, peace, smoke the peace pipe and celebrate the award for reggae dancehall music in Ghana. Do you understand? But Efo Ganyo proved stubborn. It's not the first time, not the last time. Another time, the time he was signed to Xylophone Media, uh, Shatawale joined 
the platform and it became a big issue. Stonebird got mad. At the time, they tried to seize his car. Namwana and Co. tried to seize his car. They sent Bulldog and Co. to the house. Stoneboy pulled out. <laughs> you understand? So Stoneboy is always in self 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 defense mode. But I think uh, he promoting that thing before you realize. See where Americans are today. Gun violence is something that I'm against. We teaching the ghetto youth to 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 just be. I mean, shooting shooting here and there. It's not the, it's not the right thing. Imagine that one had been shot dead that that day. By now, Ghana music industry wouldn't be the same ever. So, let me let me know your comments, this, uh, your thoughts in the comment section. Was Shatawale right to even rush himself onto the stage? You were not invited. If Shatta had not stepped onto the stage, we wouldn't have even known that Stoneboy had a weapon in his hand, in his pocket. So, Shatta made a mistake, and at the same time, Stoneboy too, uh, I think he overreacted by bringing out that thing because. And I mean, I mean, actual countries. I mean, if I say proper countries with uh, proper legal systems, that guy will still be rotten in prison. You understand? He's he was going to be rotten in prison. Fifth dimension wouldn't have come on. You understand? So Jeff Fraser, shut up, Princess Chris Arthur. <laughs> RGK, let me know what you think about this whole issue because it got me thinking. Because Shatta really performed. God is alive. On the University of Ghana SRC week celebration, you understand? So yeah, uh, it's something that should never happen again. And I'll make a separate video calling for Shatawale, listing my reasons why he has to come back to you know the TGMA awards. I think ever since that time he he he, he saved. He not only missed death, Shatta is scared for his life. The baddest, even the baddest dancer. <laughs> He's scared for his life. He doesn't want to go back. So I'll find time to talk about that because I think I want him to come back. <laughs> yo yo, what a what a what a ladies and gentlemen, my name is AK Bob Bright. Hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, let me know who is right. Was Shatawale right? Even this this thing, I did self come talks here. I did self come talks here. They were going on the stage to collect the award from Stone Boy. <laughs> you understand? That is one secret. Maybe Nani doesn't know. I did self said. They were going on stage to forcefully collect the award from Stone Boy. So we now know the reason. The congratulatory message, you know. That one is just an excuse. You understand? I always want to be true, to be real with my analysis. Thanks for watching.